Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Now a while back I uploaded a video on how to create a YouTube short within the Shotcut software, and I'll leave a card of that video above just in case you need it. But in this video I wanted to give a little more detail on how to add some images to the blank sections above and below the video. And this process is very simple, but it really makes the YouTube short look better, you know, as well as providing additional information, or as you'll see in this video, you can even add a subscribe button just to remind visitors of that little tidbit. Speaking of which, if this video is helpful to you at all, please consider liking the video or subscribing to the channel. I would sincerely appreciate it. And I also want to mention that I'll be creating several short videos explaining uh, certain parts of Shotcut and how you can utilize them in future videos. So as you can see, I've already got my video and a few images in my playlist panel to use for this particular video. And I have added the video down here to the timeline uh, at the bottom. And I've already set up the aspect ratio for the video to be created for a YouTube short. Now first off, in order to bring our first image onto the timeline, we got to add a new video track. And this can be done in three different ways. First off, we can click these three little lines right here, and we have this menu, and we're looking at track options right now and add video track. Now we can also see out to the right of here, we have a keyboard shortcut, which is Control I to create a new video track. We can also right click in this gray area right here, same menu that we have from the three lines here, and do add video track. Now, now that our track is added, we need to expand the timeline so we can see everything a little more clearly. As you can see, our video down here at the bottom, we can barely even see it. So we come up here to these lines right here. You'll see our cursor change to this little up and down arrow. We'll click and drag this up a little bit just so we can see things a little better. So next, let's drag an image from the playlist down to our timeline on the newly created video track. I'm going to use this logo.png and pull it down here to our timeline. Now we do want this image to show all throughout uh, our video. So as we can see here, it's quite short. So we need to take this and lengthen it to where it covers the entire length of our video. So simply come down here to the right edge of your image and you'll see that our cursor will change into an arrow uh, that's horizontal. Simply click that, left click and drag to the end. Okay, so now this image will be on our screen as you can tell the entire time throughout the video. Now, of course, this image length can be modified. Uh, if the video length changes, you can always go to the end of the video down here uh, and modify this as well, depending on how long your video is. Now, as you can see, the image is centered on the video. Uh, so we need to get this moved to the correct place. So first, we need to add a filter. All right, we want to add the filter to this new video track here. So always make sure that you click here, and you'll see that it kind of highlights and puts this red border around it. So then we'll go to our Filters tab. Do the plus sign to add a new filter. And we want the size, position, and rotate filter. Now, as soon as you click on that, you'll have several options here, uh, which you guys can play around with on the rotation. You can zoom in and out, uh, change the size, and there's several presets under here for transitions as far as transitioning items into and out of your video screen. Now, we're not gonna worry about the presets and none of this stuff at the moment. Uh, we'll go into the detail of that in a later video. But for now, we just want this image to be moved uh, to the top of this blank space up here, away from our video. So simply come down here to the little circle that you see in the image, click and drag it up. Now, like I said, if you have a different image, you can always adjust this to fit the video however you need it to look. Now, now that the image is placed on the video uh, in the correct location, we can play a little short snippet of the video, and you can see that when the video plays, our logo PNG stays in its place and really kind of fills that black space that's used for nothing else. All right, guys, with that image out of the way, let's repeat the process to add another image to the bottom of the video screen. So we'll go back down here, and we'll do a little different this time. We'll go to the uh, three lines, track options, and add video track. Now here again, it bumps everything down a little bit where we can't really see what's going on, so we can always resize this a little bit. But as we do, you'll see that our video pane really does get small. So I like to just kind of knock one thing out at a time, but you can always resize this anytime you want to. So then we'll take our next image, drag it to our bar, and come to the right side, and drag it to the end again. Okay, once that's done, we will highlight it again. Uh, this time we want to go back to this filters option here, do the add, and do size, position, and rotate. And this image, of course, we are going to move to the bottom. Now we'll click off of this a little bit. That way you can kind of see what it looks like now. There's no, not really a blank space now. There, it's kind of all full. It looks a lot better. Uh, of course, you can add anything you want to here, guys. You can do text, images. Um, you can even add another video if you want to. You can kind of play with this a little bit. 
Uh, but now when we play it, of course, our video will play, our images stay put, everything just looks a lot better. So now that we do have things how we want it to be, it's time to put the finishing touches on your project, whatever you've got to do to it. Uh, and then, like I said, get it ready to export. Now again, guys, I do hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, if you do have any trouble or any questions, please leave me a comment below and I will do my very best to help you. Cheers.